So yes, I'm a wet head and I'm here to show you something because this is so exciting. We were going to wait. We thought it was going to be weeks. We thought it was going to be weeks. We thought it was going to be weeks. So yes, the planters are still inside. We took them out once for some sun out in the sun to warm things up. Um, if the sun ever decides to show back up, we'll take them out again. But I had to show you this because um, these are supposed to take at least two weeks, three weeks to germinate. And yet, and yet, and yet, we already have some hatches. Our dragon claws aren't up. Not No surprise, the dragon claws have always been a bit difficult. Our ajibricos are up. Uh, the paprikas and chalaca and marconi may not ever come up. I don't know. Um, a cat, I don't know if you all can see all those little imprints. Yeah, a cat has enjoyed them. And the cat has also enjoyed the Fresno banana and uh, poblano box so nothing up there but and then here we have our chocolate bells which may be old seed i can't remember and our purple bells also may be old seed and in here still not coming up green hollas guajillos oof way in the back way in the back and purple hollas also still not coming up. I have to move stuff out of the way so I can step in. Red cubanelles also not up. The regular cubanelles. And then back here, back here, our Anaheims are going up. I've always had good luck with Anaheims for some reason. Always, always. Yes. And then... Uh, two days ago, we went ahead and managed to get dirt and seeds, and we used fresh seeds to uh, plant our hobs. So we are now going to be waiting on the hobs. But again, these seem to be up a little early, and I'm really excited about it. We're going to get them a little taller. Uh, pardon, pardon the draining sound. That's my washer. Uh, but we're going to let them get a little taller. We're going to uh, see which ones end up being looking really good. And then we will probably thin it down to one plant each. We find one plant each uh, provides enough for our family, especially with some of the really good growers. The habaneros, we do two plants. My husband likes them. But um, hopefully we'll see more very, very soon in some of these other boxes. I'm just grateful because I was worried about it being too cold. And then, of course, the cat also walked through this one, so it's nice to see something coming up there. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, folks. <gasps> we do have a dragon claw coming up. I don't know. I'm going to put my finger behind it. Do you see that? There's a dragon claw coming up. My husband will be very, very happy with that. Very, very happy. But... Um, yeah, I suspect that some of these seeds got smooshed around and moved around and, and they, they may not be able to come up. Alrighty, so exciting news from the garden. We're coming up a little early and I'm very, very happy for that. I was very, very worried about having uh, planted so late. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, I just wanted to make sure the temps were what they needed to be for them. And apparently that was a good job, a good idea. Alrighty, so if you're interested in more gardening, a couple of makeup things. Fiction food and geeky stuff. I hope that you will like, subscribe, and do all the things for the channel and help boost us up in the algorithm. And go ahead and share so your friends can find things out. And uh, in the meantime, there will be more gardening in the future, and we'll talk to you later. Bye!